My name is Gumara Rodriguez, safety representative from ASC Process Systems. In this video, I am going to teach you all about the different types of wrenches we use in the shop. We will start by covering some general tool safety policies, and then we'll go into depth of each of the common wrenches that get used in our builds. All wrenches have different manufacturers and sizes. There are many kinds of wrenches. However, these are the most prominent wrenches. The ratchet wrench, adjustable wrench, the socket wrench, clamp wrench, and tube wrench. Each wrench has its own place in the shop, so make sure you've chosen the right wrench for the task and return the wrench to the same place you took it from. Wrenches come in two different measurement systems, which are standard and metric. Most wrenches, especially built in the US, will use the standard measurement system. When using any wrench, never work at head or eye level and always keep a well-balanced stance. Finally, never use a pipe extension or cheater bar on the end of the wrench to attain more torque. The force of the bar could slip or snap your wrench arm and cause injury. Your standard wrench comes in many different sizes and lengths and it is used for one action, tightening or loosening bolts or nuts. Depending on the size of your nut or bolt, you will most likely need to bring a wrench set with you to ensure you have the correct size wrench for the job. The longer the wrench arm, the more torque you have to access and apply. On the end of some wrenches, there is a circular enclosed area where the tool can fit the nut or bolt and you do not have to repeatedly adjust position during your tightening or loosening process. This will allow you to freely spin the wrench in one direction until the nut or bolt stops, which makes the process much faster. If you choose to use this circular wrench part, make sure when you apply the wrench over the bolt or nut that you are flush to the base of the material to ensure you do not strip or round your nut or bolt. Ratchet wrenches are wrenches that have a ratchet on one side or even both sides that you can apply a nut or bolt and tighten and loosen without the traditional wrench slip that may occur. These ratchet wrenches have a ratchet mechanism that allows you to tighten or loosen the bolts or nuts with a free swing that reloads the mechanism, allowing you to quickly tighten or loosen a nut or bolt. Some ratchet wrenches have a lever that adjusts its mode into tightening or loosening and others you flip over to access the opposite mode. Adjustable wrenches are the most commonly used wrenches due to their one size fits all ability. Crescent wrenches have a dial located underneath the wedges that allow you to select the size needed for the job. These wrenches come in handy because they allow you to cut down on bringing an array of standard wrenches, stockets, or ratchets, and just carry one crescent wrench. Crescent wrenches are a great tool. However, you must be careful to not slip the nut or bolt and cause a rounding or stripping of the nut or bolt since the size can adjust while in use. A good practice is to keep your finger on the dial that adjusts the size of the forks to ensure the wrench stays tight around the nut or bolt you are working with. Always make sure to tighten or loosen the nut or bolt you are working on with the big fork or arm behind the direction that you are turning so that you do not damage or even break the adjustment mechanism these wrenches have. Socket wrenches allow you to quickly remove or install bolts or nuts by tightening or loosening in one direction and free spinning or reloading in the other. They have a lever or dial located on top to toggle the tightening or loosening function. Socket wrenches are used with different size sockets that are used to fit around the nut or bolt you are working with and adjust it. It is important to make sure you select the proper size of the socket before using to avoid stripping your bolt, nut, or socket. To switch out your socket, many socket wrenches have a button or area that needs to be pushed in before it will release the socket. This ensures the socket does not work its way off the wrench while in use which could lead to injury or damaging the product you are working on. Other wrenches have the ability of just pulling off the socket. Socket wrenches are great for applications with tight spaces. Since you do not have to remove and apply the wrench repeatedly, just crank and reload your swing. A clamp wrench is a handy tool used to grab hold on the part you're working with and not let go. There is a dial located in the back of the wrench that allows you to select the desired locking point of these wrenches. 
Then, when you grasp onto the material needed, you squeeze the handle until it locks onto them, allowing you to remove your hand and continue working. These clamp wrenches come in all different sizes and have an array of usability. Maybe you want to clamp material together, or maybe you want to clamp material down to a workbench. What if you just want to clamp onto a bolt and tying or loosen without having to worry about constant grip strength? These are all actions you are able to do with these clamp wrenches. The last type of wrench we are going to cover is the pipe wrench or tube wrench. The purpose of a pipe wrench is to grip and turn a soft pipe or round fitting. Do not use a pipe wrench on a hard material because the teeth may break or may damage the hard material you're working on. Applying a pipe wrench to a threaded pipe would have a negative result because the teeth would crimp the thread and ruin its ability to screw onto or into another material. Pipe wrenches come in different sizes and the sizes are normally stamped on the side of the wrench. These pipe wrenches work with the torque power you apply when tightening or loosening the pipe you're working on. Place the teeth or the ridges of the wrench around the pipe when you begin to turn. The teeth bite down harder on the material allowing for a stronger grip due to the amount of pressure you're applying. It is important to not over tighten the material you are working with since pipe wrenches can apply a large amount of force. You do not want to break or bust the material you are working on. We hope you enjoyed our video on the different types of common wrenches we use here at AEC. We hope you found this video helpful and informative and hope to see you again in our next video. I am Gumaro Rodriguez, Safety Representative for AEC Process Zones. Take care and stay safe.